Welcome into Sports Talk at the stadium from here in Gainesville, Florida at the Swamp, where the Gators swamped the Gamecocks today 38-6 to in a game that was basically decided in the first quarter as Florida jumped on the Gamecocks and never looked back in building a 24-0 lead, and they never let South Carolina get into this ball game. The Gamecocks could never get anything going offensively against this Gator defense, which came into the game not one of the better defenses in the SEC, at least statistically, but they look like one today. They just shut down the Gamecocks offense in every way the Gamecocks tried to move the football. Now, they were without Marshawn Lloyd. And they were without Christian Beale Smith. So Jaheim Bell became the featured running back. They gave him the ball early. They tried to get passes to him later and to others, but nothing would work offensively for the Gamecocks against this Gator defense today. And then offensively, Florida came out and just did whatever they wanted to against the uh, Gamecock defense in building a quick lead. They scored on all four possessions of the first half to lead 24 to nothing. And, boy, they ran the ball extremely well. Had over 300 yards rushing in the first half. And, I mean, just chewed up the Gamecocks with their big offensive line and their running backs. They had two running backs to go over 100 yards each. It would have been three in the backfield over 100 yards. Their quarterback was over 100 yards until he took a late sack, which dropped him back to 96 yards. But they uh, found plenty of running holes uh, in the Gamecock defense. Their offensive line did a terrific job of blocking the, D, uh, the Gamecock defensive front. The running backs ran hard. Uh, they broke tackles uh, yards after contact. Uh, they had one running play of 85 yards by Trevor Etienne, brother of the former Clemson star, Travis Etienne, and so there was just nothing the Gamecock defense uh, could do. And a lot of the blame on this game, of course, will fall on the Gamecock offense for being very inefficient today once again. But the defense is equally to blame. The defense did nothing really on their end to uh, slow down the Gators. So it, the blame really goes both ways. Only part of the Gamecock team to play decently today, actually better than decently, they kind of excelled, the special teams. As you know, the Gamecocks' only points came on a fake punt. They also blocked the field goal. Uh, they returned a punt uh, into the red zone. Um, they they just they did some things you know, in the special teams to, to cause some problems, but that alone, singularly, not enough for you to win a football game against a team like Florida here in the Swamp on Senior Day in front of Steve Spurrier, who was here as they had a reunion for two of his former teams. So, like I said, the Gators scored on every possession they had in the first half, they had a opening drive of 14 plays, 75 yards. Second drive, uh, they took it down uh, seven plays, 64 yards. Then ETN broke off his 85-yard run. Then they had a field goal drive, uh, for, short field goal, make it uh, 24 nothing. The Gamecock scored off that fake field goal to make it 24 to six. They went for a two-point conversion and failed it. Uh, and they got the ball to start the second half, and this is where it really got weird for the Gamecocks. They lost the football on each of their first three possessions of the second half. They had four snaps and three fumbles. All the fumbles came after um, a play was uh, was being run, and at the conclusion of the play, the Florida defense uh, made a strip or a Florida defender pulled the ball away from a Gamecock. So three quick turnovers there. To their credit, the Gamecock defense did not cave. And they only allowed one touchdown off of those three turnovers. So it really could have been uh, uglier than it turned out. Uh, so the Gamecock defense did some good things there, actually blocked a field goal. Uh, Florida mishandled a snap on another field goal. Uh, and then they did get the one touchdown off those turnovers. So um, it really just nothing really positive you can say about the Gamecock offense or the defense. Here are some of the final numbers. The uh, Gators had 515 yards, the Gamecocks 237. Gators rushed for 374 yards on the day. Again, you know, the majority of that in the first half. Gamecocks rushed for 44 yards, 11 penalties on South Carolina. A um, lot of uh, procedure penalties, just breakdown in, in discipline there in a lot of ways. The Gamecocks were 3 of 11 on third down. Florida was 9 of 15. Florida ran 79 plays to the Gamecocks 50. The Gamecocks had those three turnovers. You know, Rattler, a very pedestrian day for him, 18 of 26, but for only 145 yards. He truly had very little time in the pocket to let his receivers get downfield and try and make plays and get open and see if he can make some big plays. The time just wasn't there. He had to run 
practically on every uh, drop back. Bell had 12 carries for 30 yards. Uh, as I mentioned, the special teams were were very good for South Carolina today. So this uh, disappointing outing for South Carolina here in the swamp coming off their win over Vanderbilt. Uh, they came to um, Gainesville thinking that they could play a really good game and be competitive here into the fourth quarter. That was, of course, the goal for Shane Beamer. And uh, it just didn't happen. You put yourself in a 24 nothing hole anywhere. It's almost impossible to come back from. And in this case, it, it wasn't even close to being in the neighborhood of, of a comeback. You never got the feeling the Gamecocks were turning this game around in their favor. So they take their lumps. They take their wounds. They take their hurt feelings. And they go back to Columbia for one more home game, 7 o'clock on ESPN next Saturday night against the Tennessee Vols. And that uh, if the Gamecocks don't get it going somehow on offense and play better on defense, that one too will be a very ugly experience for them in Columbia. Then it's up to Clemson to close out the regular season. So the Gamecocks have a lot of improvement to do if they can improve here in these latter weeks of the season. A lot of improvement to be able to be competitive with two of the best teams in the country. On our website, we have post-game coverage from the Gamecock locker room with Shane Beamer and players. On Sunday, it'll be the Beamer conference call at 7.15. On Monday night on Sports Talk, we'll talk all about it with you and get your thoughts on what went down here today in the swamp. It was not pretty in any way for the Gamecocks. They lose it 38-6 to here in Gainesville. Our report brought to you by the South Carolina Beef Council. Thanks for checking us out. Have a great weekend. We'll see you Monday on Sports Talk.